Do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. Nelson Mandela What society wants, society gets. As a woman, society expects so much from you. Not only should you be accomplished as a family woman, but some will also expect you to be educated as well. As much as we may be considered the weaker sex, we are anything but. A woman in the 21st century is expected to do a lot more than to birth and raise her children. It is not enough to stand before a stove and prepare hot meals for your family every single night. You need to also be an amazing and attentive lover. A woman must also look impeccable as she juggles seven roles. She should never forget that she is the nurturer who cooks and cares for the home and her family. The house must be neat at all times, no matter how many children live in it. But to be a powerful woman, she is also expected to earn her place in the corporate world and be a financial contributor in her home. All bills must be paid. If she falls short, she has to make a plan. There are so many requirements, and you can end up feeling stretched thin because you serve as a lover, a cleaner, a maid, a cook, a nurse, a therapist, or whatever else your family needs you to be at that moment. It is a lot. Being overwhelmed is a state of being most women are used to existing in. If you vent to another woman, they may sympathize, but they will probably tell you ways to cope with your load without telling you how to care for yourself. Women prioritize their parents, their children, their partners, and sometimes even their jobs before themselves. We don't know how to put ourselves first. And if we do manage to do so, we feel guilty that we made a decision based solely on what we want. So much depends on us and what we do. Therefore, we feel terrified to take time for ourselves. Because what will be the fate of all the people and things that depend on us? We don't know self-care. Black women do not take the time to care for themselves emotionally. They do not step away from their busy schedules to replenish their emotional reserves that are running on empty. Frankly, we do not know how to step away or take a break. We keep going and do whatever it takes to keep sane, healthy, and relatively content and happy. Unfortunately, that is not enough. What is at risk of deteriorating is our mental health. When your mental health is in shambles, you are running the risk of affecting the state of your physical health and spirituality. In life, all the elements are connected. The air is connected to the water and the land. They all rely on and affect the other. This is true about your body. Your spirituality is connected to your mental state, which is also connected to your physical being. They are all in sync with one another, such that if one of them is off, it will wreak havoc on the others. Take note of all the times you had troubles with your spirituality or mental health. Somehow it manifested physically. The same care we give our bodies by exercising and eating right. We need to afford our emotional, spiritual, and mental health. Our health is holistic and includes our minds and emotional health. 